Now we are going to create the functionality for our text fields to affect the value which we're going to put, affect the width of the, of the relevant record, or of the relevant bar within our chart. So if we go back to our editor, after our li each chart li each uh, loop, we're going to create uh, another statement. We go on now, we're going to tr uh, target form underscore values and input tag. And we're going to use blur method. Blur is the event which occurs when we go out from the field. As long as the cursor is blinking within the field, uh, everything's fine. Then we go tap, or we simply click somewhere else. When the, the cursor stops blinking, this event is called blur. So we're going back to our editor. We have blur. on blur, we want function. And this function will simply update the values and the width of the bars. So we go first for the variable called id, which will equal this dot attribute id dot split underscore. As you may remember, I've, we've created this ids, we've assigned this ids li underscore and the number, which will simply refer to the right index within our chart uh, Unordered, unordered list to target the re relevant li tag. So now we are splitting this by underscore. So our id will become an array. Index 0 will simply be li and index uh, 1 will provide the relevant uh, number which we want to get from it. So now we have var v which will be our value. This val, so value which is entered into the text field. Now we do the condition if v is more than 100 again, if someone wants to go over the 100, then v equals 100. We reinforce the, um, the, the value. This val, and we change the value inside of the field as well to 100 if someone entered anything else. Then we go for chart li, then colon, and we have nth hyphen child, and now we provide the index of the child which we want to trigger, target. We have uh, plus to concatenate id and number one from the id array. Now plus to concatenate it again, uh, closing the uh, bracket, then single quote, and closing our object, and then children, and we are looking for percent first, then we have HTML V plus percentage symbol. So now if we save it, go to our browser, refresh the page, and now if I'm going to change the value to let's say 50 here, have a look at this position, this uh, value uh, displayed with the first bar. If I hit tab, it's updated, but we see our bar didn't move yet because we didn't provide functionality for this. But the values are now changing, so I'm changing next one to the 50 as well. It's changed as well. So let's go back and we're going to continue. Now we create variable ww, which will be chart li, and now we take first child, so the first li tag, and we want to get the width. Width of all of the li tags is the same, so we only take the first one to make sure that we have the right width uh, of the 100% basically. Then we have var len, which will be parse, int again, the full width, decimal, time, parse, int, and we take value which is assigned to, which has been added to our field. Again, it's going to be the decimal value dividing by 100 to be the percentage. Now, chart li nth hyphen child, and we have plus id and uh, with the index 1, then closing bracket, single quote, closing object, element children. We now targeting bar span. And we have animate and the parameters will be 
with len plus px and then after closing curly brace the speed which would be 1500 milliseconds so that's all done we can now go to our browser save the file obviously go to our browser refresh the page or we load the page and firefox values for some reason after refreshing they stay within the fields to wherever we've changed them now if i'm going to change the value for the first bar to say 50 and i'm going to hit tab to go to the next field have a look at what's happening the bar is animating to the 50 percent of the whole width of the li tag and the value on the right hand side has also updated now i'm changing the value of this one to 25 percent as you can see it's also animated to 25 percent then we have 100 percent now i'm going to type in 250 and what should happen is when i get out from this field this field first of all should put uh, should uh, i mean jquery will change the function which you've created will change its value to 100 and obviously the bar should be 100 so i'm going away and there we go 100 in, uh, 100 stayed within the field our bar went to 100 and obviously the value on the right hand side is 100 as well now i'm going to put one to the last one and the bar goes just to one percent and one percent on the right hand side so that's everything within this uh, uh, tutorial within this series any questions post the comments under the series itself thank you